A few weeks ago, the rumour mill spat out something interesting that AMD was preparing a new Polaris based card which was said to be taking aim at Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1050 tie. Now back when these rumours first began, the card had no name, but now things have gotten a little clearer thanks to some video cards listings. And based on those, it seems that AMD is definitely going to be offering a cost effective Polaris 10 GPU, which again will clearly be taking aim at the 1050 time, which of course does come at $140 or $139 if you want to be exact. Of course, the 470 is already 180, so we'll probably look at a price of 150 to 160 US dollars. Now, we do have two sets of configurations here, is where things get a bit confusing. The one found by video cards is sourced back to XFX, which by the way is a tongue twister, while the other is sourced back to PC Online. Now, XFX is a bit more official, so let's look at their specs first. Now, the card known as the XFX Radeon RX 470D which is probably not the official name, just throwing that out there, has the double dissipation cooler and has 100, sorry, 1792 stream processors clocked at 1226 MHz and will have 4 gigs of GDDR5 memory clocked at 7 GHz and a TDP of 110 watts. Now here's where things get even more sort of muddy and unclear is that the Spec sheet over at the XFX website does mention a single 6-pin connector, however, the pictures do show a 8-pin connector, so whether or not the spec sheet is incorrect or the wrong image was uploaded, it's tough to say, but that is just a bit of an inconsistency to keep in mind. However, with that out of the way, let's move swiftly on to PC Online. Now, PC Online do say themselves that their specs are based on speculation, but they did acknowledge the existence of a new 470 before XFX uploaded the specs. So based on their speculations, it was the 470 SE and will have about 70 to 80% 80 of the full 470 card and will have 1536 GCN 4.0 stream processors and 4 gigs of memory and will have a slightly lower TDP of 90 watts. So quite the decrease there. Now there is actually a third piece of information on this, but this was actually posted a little while ago before today, a couple of weeks ago if I am understanding correctly, where someone is claiming to have benchmarks of the RX 465. So now we have three names for this cut down Polaris card, and there is no way of telling which one is correct at the moment. Now according to the particular lead card, the clock speed of this model oscillates between the 10 and 8. 10xx and 11xx megahertz frequency and does show 4 gigs of GDDR5, 256 bit interface, 100, sorry, 1750 megahertz memory clock and also has lower te sorry, fewer texture units and does also suggest it has fewer stream processors as well. So we can make an assumption here that the clock speed of the new card is around 1206 megahertz, same as the 470. So does mean to have to be roughly be about 112 TMUs. However, despite the slight differences between these three sources, they do show a card that would have no problem competing against the 1050 tie. And of course, these three sources are pointing towards something coming from AMD that would fill the rather large gap between the 470 and the 460. And again, according to PC Online, the 470D or SE or whatever name you want to call it is going to be available a few days after the 1050. So we're going to have the 460 facing up against the 1050 and the 470D or whatever it ends up being called, it probably won't be called that, let's just throw it out there again, facing off against the 1050 tie. Interesting stuff and it would actually be a pretty decent idea for AMT to fill this gap between those two cards and again take on this new contender from Nvidia. Let me know your thoughts and opinions as always guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.